Hello and welcome to another video tutorial of the FEM software. In this video, I am going to simulate a DC conduction problem. My aim is calculation of the current density and current inside this rectangular cube, this copper rectangular cube. This is a very basic example. And I want to explain to you how we can calculate the value of current density by finite element method and how we can calculate it analytically and compare, right? So the aim is doing this task, analytic calculation of the current density and calculation of the current density by finite element method and compare. So, uh, in this example, I am going to apply a fixed voltage on this surface of the rectangular cube, and I am going to uh, attach this surface to the ground, right? So the direction of the current is in the direction of x axis as you can see here these uh, four surfaces are uh, insulated actually we don't have any normal value of current on these four uh, faces so uh, this is a two-dimensional problem because the uh, value of current is not a function of z axis here uh, is only a function of uh, y and x however because we apply fixed voltage on this surface and this surface we have a uniform current inside this rectangular cube so uh, let me open the fem software f e um, I'm going to create a current flow problem. Okay, and let me save this design to this folder. Actually, FEM tutorials. Copy. I'm going to here. Uh, three DC conduction problem save. So, as you know, the first step is creation of the geometry. I press the tab key and insert my first point zero and zero. Uh, this is the point that we created. I press the tab key and I am going to enter the second point. So uh, these are our dimensions. The uh, depth of the cube is 1, the width is 1, and the height is 5. So uh, I write here 5 and 0. OK. Tab 5 and 1. OK. 0 and 1. And the next step is selection of this uh, icon here, creation of segment. Uh, I draw a segment here. Right, uh, left click, left click, left click, and left click to create this uh, rectangular object. So uh, now uh, I should set the problem. Uh, our problem type is uh, planar and uh, the units. Uh, I am going to use uh, centimeters. The frequency is zero. Uh, we are solving a DC conduction problem. And everything is OK. And I press OK. Uh, the next step is assigning a material uh, for this object uh, in this region. Uh, I activate this uh, 
tab here and place a material label uh, from properties materials library i select the copper and i uh, place it in uh, our model materials and i press ok so uh, as you know we should right click on this uh, label and press the space key and set the value of this material uh, label to copper okay so uh, the next step is definition of boundary conditions uh, from properties boundary i define my first boundary condition actually i am going to apply one volt uh, on this surface so i write here v equal one uh, the boundary condition type is voltage and its value is one one volt okay uh, the next boundary condition uh, v equal zero actually as i said i am going to uh, attach this surface to the ground so uh, v is equal zero boundary condition type is fixed voltage and its value is zero okay and finally the last one i write here insulation insulation boundary condition uh, we don't have a normal current on these uh, faces right so uh, from a boundary condition type i select surface current density and uh, i set its value equal to zero perfect insulation so i press ok ok now i select uh, this tab uh, right click on this uh, edge a space uh, and now i can set the boundary condition v is equal one okay for this uh, boundary v is equal zero for this one we have insulation and for this one also we have insulation i press ok uh, okay everything is okay and we assign the material we defined the boundary conditions now let's generate the mesh and solve the problem and okay uh, simulation completed and now we can view the results so uh, this is uh, voltage distribution inside the cube as you can see here we have a high voltage here a low voltage here and let's plot the value of current density plot you can see that we have a uniform uh, current distribution inside the object let me reduce the scale factor to 0.5 so now is better visually uh, so and uh, now i am going to uh, see what is the value of the current density inside uh, this uh, object as you can see here if i click on different parts of this uh, solution region i can see the value of uh, current uh, density uh, here that is 1.16 right if i click here click here uh, as you can see here however the value of voltage is different if i click here the value of voltage is near one because uh, the value of voltage on this uh, segment is equal one but the value of current density is constant right we have a uniform current distribution so uh, can i calculate this number using analytic equations to check the results of this software 
right? This is a very basic example. Uh, as you know, the uh, value of uh, current, DC current, is equal R uh, is equal V divided by R. And for our example, the value of R is rho times L divided by A. L is uh, axial length and A is cross section. Actually, this cross section, this surface, and L is equal 5 in our problem. So, uh, I created this Excel file to calculate the value of current density. Uh, voltage difference is equal 1, V1 minus V0, for our example is equal 1. Depth of problem is 1 centimeter, uh, the width is 5 or length and the height is 1. So uh, sigma is uh, conductivity of copper. And we have this equation also 1 divided by sigma times L divided by A. Uh, what is the value of conductivity of copper? I can see it uh, here in material materials copper uh, modify property uh, you can see the value of electrical conductivity of copper uh, 58 megasiemens per meter so i have this uh, value here uh, okay so the cross sectional area is depth times height times 1e minus 4 uh, because uh, this uh, the unit here is centimeter and the unit here is a uh, meter uh, square uh, actually the area of this surface and the value of resistance is equal to this one so the value of current is 1.16 e plus 5 is simply v divided by r and as you know, the value of current density is uh, I divided by A. A is cross-sectional area. So I calculated it here. Uh, I divided by A. So as you can see here, the value of current density is 1.16 E uh, plus 9. Uh, so you can see that we got the same value here, right? So validate our uh, calculations. Uh, so uh, in this example, the current density is uniform and we uh, could uh, get the exact numbers, right? So you can practice this example in the next video. I am going to present uh, to you another example with the same concept but uh, another geometry because I want to generate a non-uniform current density distribution. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and let's continue in the next video. Thanks for watching.